What is up, Brandon here, back with another video. Guys, tomorrow is game day. We play Caledonia. Guys, I don't get this, but they were good last year. They were good the year before, and my phone's about to die. Um, yeah, guys, they were good last year, the year before, and this year. They're undefeated. We're undefeated. And then there's also Hudsonville, who was undefeated, but guys, we play Caledonia tomorrow, so I don't care about Hudson there right now. So, yeah. Guys, let me take care of this real quick. Don't go anywhere. Okay, yeah, guys, but this, we are wearing orange jerseys tomorrow. Um, yeah. Hold on. Oh. At that point, that just looks, yeah. Guys, trust me, it's my number. I'm just facing him here. Guys, I'm excited and I'm ready for tomorrow because we play Caledonia. They beat us in the playoffs last year by one point, 14 to 13. So yeah, guys, hopefully we do not lose tomorrow. So if we lose, guys, I'm not uploading. But if we win, I will upload. So yeah, guys. And guys, I had to take my ram horns off my white helmet and put new ones on my white helmet so guys are you ready to see me wearing them i bet you're not guys these are the ram horns i was talking about that i had to take off guys it's military appreciation week so these are what we're wearing or, or these are the ram horns Yeah, guys, those are the ram horns, and yeah, guys, hold on one minute. Sleeping dog. Guys, look. Me wearing my... Yeah, guys. Oh. Guys, look. Guys, comment down below how I look, and yeah, guys, thumbnail, right here. Okay. Guys, let me take this off. Okay, guys, now my hair is probably messed up. Yep. Guys, I will see you in the morning and tomorrow at the game. So, yeah. Home game. First home game. Peace out. Forgot to mention, I need to shave. Look. Go shave. Yeah, guys, I'm going to shave in an hour. We'll now see you tomorrow. So, yeah. Guys, it's the next day. And I was not expecting my flashlight to turn on. Guys ready for school and guys i don't know if i've showed you this but look all the varsity football players on our team get one of these and yeah guys i will talk to you later before the game so yeah good <laughs>
meeting number two in the blitz poll is pretty rare, but Caledonia and Rockford are spoiling us. Tonight marked the third straight meeting between the two schools in varsity football where they were the top two teams in the blitz poll and the second straight season where the Rams came in number one. Carlson Munger Stadium, first home game of the year for Rockford, and the folks were lining up at least two hours before the gates opened. More than 12,700 people in attendance of this one, and they got a shock on the opening kickoff. Brock Townsend takes it for a touchdown. 12 seconds into the game, Caledonia had a 7-0 lead, but Rockford would respond on the ensuing drive. Ryan Ahern finishes it from nine yards out. This ties the game at seven. The Rams would go ahead 14-10 at the half, and in the third quarter, it was the passing game of Drake Irwin and his receivers that took over, hitting Cam Kruzinga for a 72-yard touchdown early in the third quarter to make it 21-10. And then a little bit later in the frame, it's Irwin finding Seth Anderson. 26 yards on this scoring strike, make it 28 to 10. Rockford and one more in the period for good measure. Irwin to cruising again. This one from 44 yards out. Rockford so impressive again. 42 to 16 the final, beating a really good Caledonia team. And Irwin had a monster game. A school record 431 passing yards. He completed 78 of his pass attempts. Cruzinga, another really big game. Five catches, 178 yards, and a pair of touchdowns. Seth Anderson had six grabs. Mikey DeKuyper had five. Brody Betzer did complete 13 to 25 passes for 143 yards for Caledonia, and he did not turn the ball over. Brett Makita had the call of this game on 96.1 the game. And Brett, a lot of things stood out to me, this, Rock, this Rockford team. 
but it's their ability to throw the football, the school record for passing yards, and those receivers with Drake Irwin. They're tough. Let's start with the offensive coordinator, right? Jason Vandalon. He isn't afraid to get his athletes in space. He learned that at Ferris State. Even though he was more of a running quarterback than throwing quarterback, he loves to throw it around a lot. And just look at these highlights here. And look at how Drake Irwin is so efficient. There it's Mikey DeKuyper getting into the act. We talked about Seth Anderson. We talked about and we didn't even mention Blake Lindsley yet as Anderson gets a grab there. And then, of course, the big night again for number one, Cam Kamenka. Kamenka's got nine receiving touchdowns through four games. Unbelievable performance with Irwin. I made the comparison to Kirk Cousins. And look at Kirk Cousins' numbers last night against Philadelphia, right? Kind of similar. Very efficient. Doesn't make bad decisions, takes care of the football, and gets it to his playmakers in space, right? And that's what you saw with Rockford. That's what I think makes him so tough. And the senior leadership of Irwin, number nine, is what gets him going. But just spreading the wealth there with his weapons. Could you imagine if Kirk Cousins had Randy Vanderveen in the Rockford defense? <laughs> They'd be in the Super Bowl every and year. And again, I'm not saying he's an <laughs> NFL type of quarterback talent-wise, but what I'm saying is I see a lot of similarities with what he does and what Kirk Cousins is known for when he was at Michigan State and now in the NFL. Well, we, we talked to the receivers and Drake after the game. Let's start with uh, QB1. Who's your favorite wide receiver? All of them. I love throwing two. Whoever's open, I'll give them the ball. Hey! Best quarterback so, in Michigan, right he's here. here! He's him! He's him! When we started in like, I think sixth grade, seventh grade, middle school, like whatever that was. We just always had each other. Last year we were always throwing to each other. Just like, I guess in the second stringers and everything. So, I mean, we've always just had that connection and everything. So, and we just, we're always getting better, always working. He's, he's, he works his butt off too. In practice, I feel like every day, I feel like we've had such a good connection. I feel like with Cam, Chewy, McCoy, um, Lucas, Ben, Michael, I feel like we just connect as a whole. I feel like Drake understands all of us and we just love each other. We all go to dinner together. We always hang out. I feel like we just connect so much as in like a group. All three guys gave credit to the offensive line, which I thought was great. I mean, you can't throw the ball like that without time and they had time. Right. Subscribe to Brandon, Subscribe guys, to Brandon please. Wyland. Great YouTuber. Hey, go Rams. Get him the, the 10,000 subscribers go, in the next week. Let's go. Let's go.